Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about vitamin A deficiency. Uh, vitamin A deficiency is most, uh, most commonly encountered in pediatric age group um, and it will be denoted as xerophthalmia. Xerophthalmia, xerophthalmia means epithelial xerosis, that is dryness of the conjunctival epithelium. And uh, vitamin A rich foods are generally beta carotene containing foods, that, th those are papaya, mango, carrot and some uh, leafy vegetables. And WHO has given some grade regarding this uh, vitamin A deficiency, vitamin A deficiency, and the more and this is most important. And the, this is the first symptom. Night blindness will be the first symptom. Uh, rods and cones or uh, rods can work better with this vitamin A. In this deficiency, rods cannot work better, and they can they can't uh, work uh, good in night in dark dark light. Hence, the first symptom will be nyctalopia that is night blindness and the first sign will be conjunctival sclerosis that is the dryness of the dryness of conjunctiva this is sign and this is night blindness is symptom that is a uh, night blindness can be a problematic to patient and he feels that he can't see uh, well in night whereas conjunctival sclerosis is a sign that we can elicit in this patient and biotic parts are the pathognomic feature of vitamin A deficiency and th this is generally due to keratinization of uh, keratinization of conjunctival epithelium and up to bite hot spot we can reverse this condition whereas from X2 onwards we cannot reverse this condition with the vitamin A supplementation. Coming to the second one mm, uh, X2 is corneal xerosis that is corneal epithelial alteration will be present so uh, cornea also starts xerosing that is becomes dry and corneal ulceration keratomalacia is also called as cron corneal ulceration and if it involves less than one third of cornea we we categorize it into x3a and the corneal ulceration involving more than one third of cornea will be x3b keratomalacia is also known as corneal ulceration and excess is a uh, xerophthalmic scarring and xfx xerophthalmic fundus the pigment epithelium keratinizes and degenerates there will be a pigment epithelial layer in uh, retina and uh, this uh, epithelium also keratinizes and degenerates this is a um, uh, this is the who grading of uh, vitamin a deficiency vitamin a deficiency coming to the supplementation and prophylaxis generally Generally, we give a uh, vitamin A supplementation along with measles at ninth month, and the dose here is one lakh international units. And again, with the DPT booster, which will be given at fifteen to eighteen months, there will be we will be giving them the people the pediatric age group the two lakh international units. And from this um, till five years, we for every six months till five years, we will be giving these children two lakh international units, international units. And, and all these are orally given, orally given as retinal palmitate, retinal palmitate. And this is, uh, you can see here, target group is 6 to 11 months, uh, 1 lakh units uh, at 9 months, once along with measles. And DPT booster 15 to 18 months, there will be, and from there we will be giving them every 4 to 6 months, 2 lakh international units. All when we when we combine all the supplementation, there will be a total of 17 lakh international units as per this schedule. Coming to the deficiency, if the child is below less than six months, and uh, dose of uh, 50,000 international units is sufficient, whereas uh, six to 12 months, one lakh unit international dose is sufficient, and more than if he is more than one year, two lakh units uh, international units are sufficient. This is about uh, our. Vitamin A deficiency. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel.